That's not something I can answer. Because love, it's, it's not anything you can predict. Well, maybe you and my dad can go on like a date or something and see how it goes. <laughs> you little matchmaker. I thought you would be on your honeymoon. We're leaving in a few days for the Seychelles. That's in the Indian Ocean. I'll send you a postcard. What do you want? May I come in? <laughs> Should I pat you down first? <laughs> It'll be quick and painless. Really? For who? Oh, have you seen this yet? This will make a nice addition to the wedding album. I have a proposal for you, Gigi, that I think will solve all your problems. Hey, ugly Anna! Eat this. Oh, you little brat! Shane Marasco! I'm not sorry. Oh. Kids today, you were saying. It's one on the ground. I can see that. Mike. I thought you could use it to start writing again. Yeah. Thank you. I got you something a little more exciting too, but it was it's too big to bring here. So. No, you didn't. You didn't have to get me anything. I know. I, I felt like since we weren't cruising the Seine or sitting in a hot air balloon, I wanted to do something. You didn't have to do anything, Mike. <laughs> Being here with you, it's good. It's real good. You know, I wanted to come to Angel Square because I feel like this is where my life, or where my real life started. Because I almost bought it here four and a half years ago. You know, but I came out of that a different person because you were there. And you gave me hope and you made me believe in myself. I mean, I was walking through life with no ambition, but just to get through the day, you know? And you changed that, Marcy. And then a few months later. Valentine's Day. Boom. <laughs> I chased you all the way here from the Capricorn. Mm, yes, you did. <laughs> After a whole lot of cajoling, you, you got me. I wanted you to see the real me, you know, the me that you inspired me to be. I do love you. You gave me this life, Marcy, this happiness. And I just want to return the favor. Are you and Dad? You're not getting a divorce, are you? I am. Um, I don't know, sweetie. You're not supposed to lie to your children, Blair. Doesn't he deserve the truth? He deserves to be protected from our problems, Todd, the best way possible. Well, but these problems that you're doing, throwing me out of my own home. My home. <laughs> Please don't send Dad away. Sweetie, sweetie, this is, it's, it's just the way it's gotta be, all right? Okay? I don't get it. Why can't Dad still live with us? <laughs> you said that we we're a family again. Yeah. Tell him, Blair. Explain it to him. I'll tell you, Jack. It's because you're not safe to be around your father. None of us are. The reason why everyone is mad at Dad and why Mom wants him to leave is because he hurt me. He put me in the hospital and he hurt Cole, too. But he didn't mean it! You weren't there, Jack, okay? Mom and I were. <laughs> Dad, say something. There's no excuse for what he did. That's why we're giving him a time out so that he goes away and thinks about what he's done to us. No, I want him to stay. I'm really glad you came down, Star. I was hoping to have this conversation. We're not gonna have a conversation, Dad, okay? We never will, unless you leave right now. I don't know how this happened to us, short man. Don't call me shorty, okay? 
Don't ever call me that again, because I'm not your shorty anymore. Jack, I gotta go. Ted, no, please. Yes, yeah, it's for a little while. <laughs> what? Uh, I'm not sure, but uh, in the meantime, you got Fred, Fred the Magic Frog, right? So you know how to contact me. Star, sweetie, I want you to... Um, you take Jack upstairs and, and, and bring Sam down, okay? Bring Sam down? Yeah. Mom, no. Star, please. No! Do as I say. Don't make me say it again. Please take Jack. You happy now, Blair? Here. This is all wet. Sorry, the towels are in the wash. You're raising a little thug. It's tough being a single mom. Although, it would be a whole lot easier if you could wave your magic wand and fix all my problems. You did say you would. It's Rex's, covered in his DNA. Mm, and you want me to have this? Why? So you can keep up the little charade you've had going for the past 10 years. Translation, please. I don't speak bitch. Your son? I know he's not Brody's. But with this, he can be. You've, you've known all along Rex was not your son. Why would you say that he was? Roxy asked me to. Why? Because the kid was looking into his family tree and she, uh, she didn't want him to. Uh, I don't know why. Um, That's insane. That is unconscionable even for Roxy. I mean, to, to lie to that boy about his parentage? And to involve you in the My God! I know, I what? know. I... Didn't either of you ever consider what was going to happen when the lie was exposed? Well, I haven't considered much else since then. All of, you know, going through this wedding with Rex, him asking me for fatherly advice, it was excruciating. But you have done nothing to, to ameliorate the situation. I know, well... Roxy was desperate, okay? And I just happened to be the right person at the right time. Yeah, with the right last name. I don't believe this. You lied to that boy because he was curious about his family? But I, look, I know it was a bad move, but it just... She was truly very upset. And Rex, I'm telling you, the first time he ever had a discussion about the possibility that I might be his father, you should have seen his face. I mean, the, he wanted so much for it to be true. And I just... I didn't want to hurt him. Oh, and this deception, this is not going to hurt him at all. Well, of course it is, but I can't undo what I did. No, but you can certainly go and minimize the damage by telling him the truth now. Good Lord, you have to go and tell the boy that you've been lying to him. You have to do that now. 